This is Children of Colonel and Mrs. Turnley, 1863, Oil on Canvas, by George Peter Alexander Healy. Born in 1813 in Boston, the eldest of five children. When the family was left fatherless, he helped to support his mother. He started to draw at age 16 and immediately began to pursue a career as an artist. His very earliest works were reproductions of other artists' work, which he used as a tool to learn as well as to sell for income. By age 18, he was able to make a living painting portraits. In 1834, Healy traveled to Europe to further his schooling in painting. He left Europe in 1840 and traveled to Chicago, where he remained till 1869, and where this portrait was painted. Colonel Turnley was from a prominent Southern family, which were frequent customers of Healy's. This portrait is of three of Turnley's five children. The child in the middle, while dressed in a tartan dress, is actually believed to be their son, Ernest. Historically, it was normal for all children, even males, to wear dresses while young. On each side in white dresses are their daughters, Emma and Ethel. Common for his portraits, the background of the work is muted to focus attention on the subjects of the work. Before photography became widely available, it was customary for many wealthy families to immortalize themselves and their families in art. Healy painted many important portraits of the 19th century, including Daniel Webster, John Calhoun, and Henry Clay. One of his most famous works was his posthumous portrait of Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln sat for Healy in August 1864, and Healy began working on sketches. However, after the president was assassinated, he did not conceive the painting until 1869. It now hangs in the White House's state dining room. Healy died in 1894, well known and respected as one of America's most prolific portrait painters.